to begin, open and inspect all the materials in the box. Make sure and read the instruction manual. These are the tools you will need for this job. Your safety equipment should include a face shield, hearing protection, and a fire extinguisher. The service door screen insert may be installed with the door in place or removed from its hinges. Position the inside panel level on the door and mark around the outside of the panel's frame. This will be the pattern that you will follow to cut. Now as a caution, make sure you leave clearance for the door closer, panic opener, and kick plate before you make a cut on the door. Using the circular saw, cut an opening half inch smaller than the marks. Have a second person on the other side of the door with the fire extinguisher close by as a fire watcher to make sure no sparks ignite. Use the reciprocating saw to finish the corners. Smooth the edges of your cuts with the metal grinder or rasp file as needed. Next, apply the caulking. Be sure to apply the caulking under the edge of the outer and inner frame to help provide a weather seal and to prevent the insert from moving. Install the SDSI on the door by first placing the inside frame piece into the position and hold. Make sure the black keeper is on the bottom for correct placement. Install the outer screen frame onto the outside of the door and sandwich the two pieces together. Temporarily install the four bolts that are the three inch long on the sides and lightly tighten with the flat nuts. Tighten only as necessary to hold in place until the shorter bolts on the top and bottom are permanently installed. Install the top and bottom bolts using the 10 24th by 2 and a quarter inch long bolts with the stop lock nuts. Then remove the temporary 3 inch long bolts and install the permanent 10 24th by quarter inch bolts and tighten with stop lock nuts. Check that the insert is square in the door and make sure all the mounting bolts are secure. Your SDSI is now installed. Optional storage rack installation. Measure and install the storage brackets and storage keeper with the provided quarter inch 20p case. Make sure you leave clearance for the kick plate and panic opener. Now the storage rack will hold the optional clear or solid panel on the door itself. Attaching the provided foam rubber pads onto the door ensures a firm hold. Check the latch for proper operation in both the open and closed positions. 